Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer Singles, I am here to do a reading for you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate and toss out what doesn't. Uh, your life's about to change Cancer Singles. Just so you know, you got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, right? Um, so anyway, Cancers, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, um, your comments, um, all your kind words, all of your support that you show the channel and each other, right? Um, we're in this journey together, and I, I really, truly love you guys. Thank you so, so much. All right, Cancers. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Cancer singles, right? All right, Divine, what can you show me for Cancer? We're just going to freestyle it tonight, Cancer, you know? What can you show me, Divine, for Cancer? Cancer singles. What messages do you have for Cancer singles? Someone is hanging on to your energy. They have other options, I feel, but this person, it's like they they may um they may be in a toxic situation, but and you may have been an option in the past for this person or they treated you like one, but now it's like everything is being made clear to them. You're the person that they want. They're hanging on to your energy. What did I say? Everything's being made clear to this person. They're seeing you in a whole new light. They're seeing you from a different perspective. They may feel stuck in something right now, but they, they, um, they recognize your love as being like the best love out there, okay? No one's going to love like the Queen of Cups. No one. Your MO is love. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Pisces, but this person can't stop thinking about you. I really feel like this is someone from your past here. Um, maybe you guys had like like um, um, something, you know, um, like a fling, okay? Something sexual together. This is what they're thinking of here, though. They're remembering you, Um yeah, and they're upside down in their life right now while they think about you. Can't get you off of their mind here. Very passionate. Something you had with this person was very passionate, but I feel like it was it was like it didn't last very long. But they're still hanging on to your energy. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. I kind of see you as being focused on other things right now. All right, what can you show me? Heartbroken, third-party betrayal stuff. Did this person betray you in the past? They're heartbroken or they broke your heart. I feel like this person's heartbroken. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. They may have broken your heart in the past, but now I feel like it's it's um, there's been a shift here. Now they can't stop watching you. Oh, boy. Because they know you're their ultimate wish fulfillment here, Cancer. Of course you are. You're, you're Lady Love here, right? Queen of Cups. So they know they could have it all with you. They know how loving you were. They know how innocent you were and that you would have never hurt this person. All you did was give this person love. You were innocent in this. I feel like they extended their cup at one point. Uh, maybe you guys shared some passion here. It was very quick. I want to say. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was very quick. I went, That's what she said. But anyway, it was a quick kind of fling, right? It didn't, things between you and them, I feel like they didn't last very long. But now this person, it's like they can't forget you. They, they keep hanging on to those memories of you. Um, this person really misses you, Cancer. Whoever this is, they miss you. 
they could have put the put you in a third party situation. I feel like they had other options, okay? But now they think back on this and they, they look back on it and they're like, man, I could have had a perfect life with cancer. I could have had all of my needs met, like um, emotionally, and I would have been emotionally fulfilled. I would have had the ultimate happy kind of dream life with cancer, okay? They're looking back on this now, seeing you from a whole... Uh, in a whole new light from a different perspective. <sighs> yeah. I feel like, too, when they think back about you and the times that you've shared passionately, they get really turned on by that. Okay? They get really, really turned on. Um, And they're watching you, you know. I feel like this is just them looking back. Looking back on things. Looking back. Being nostalgic. Remembering the times that you shared. Um, that, that Those passionate moments, right? <laughs> All right, what else can you show me, Divine? For Cancer Singles. Yeah, I feel like this is a person from your past, man. They see you as the ultimate. This person, you're going to start hearing from this person. Um, yeah, they may, when you hear from this person, they may initially kip, kip, kip. This person's name, sh this person's name could be Kip. I don't know. But when you hear from this person, um, they're going to try to keep something hidden here. The fact that they're still juggling you with other options, okay? Like, I feel like this person just, I, I haven't seen them in a king energy yet. I've seen them as, as a page and hangman. So, like, they're not really stepping up to the plate as far as um, committing to anyone here. I feel like they have other options um, and I feel like when they come to talk to you or they start shooting messages at you, which I feel like they will, they're hiding the fact that they are kind of in the middle of trying to make a decision here between you and someone else, maybe. I feel like they're hiding something here. I really do. So just ask the right questions, you know, Cancer, and use your discernment. I feel like this person has fought with you in the past. I feel like this is somebody who's manipulated you in the past. I feel like you just reached a point where you just freaking had enough. Um, I don't know if you know who this person is. Could be a Scorpio, Libra. I've got Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo out here. But this is somebody that um, put, maybe put you in a competition and a third party. I feel like there's just been a lot of arguing, a lot of chaos. This person likes to manipulate, stir things up, have other options. They may even have addictions here um, for some of you, not all of you. But this is, I feel like this is someone who manipulates and you were just like, forget it. Just forget it. I feel like... Um, yeah, I'm kind of seeing this as calling, like making a call. Like, um, I'm seeing this as like more like a judgment call than justice. Honestly, I feel like you're like, no, no more. I'm not wasting my time on this behavior. I'm not playing any more games. I think you just got really sick of being manipulated by this person, whether it was a an ex a family member, a friend, a co-worker, my, it could be anyone, okay? And you're just sick of dealing with this person's crap and all the things that they keep hidden. I feel like um, this person may have talked about you behind your back even. And um, uh, yeah, because they're fairly narcissistic. And I feel like they want to kind of try to control the situation here by giving you an apology that ain't worth boo okay um and you're out here in the public eye i mean i you went after your dreams here i feel like this person is going to try to come in and and heal things with you but uh, you're just sick of the of the kind of um 
behavior that they gave you in the past, the kind of treatment that they that they gave you in the past. You're just done. I, I feel like this thing came to an end because of how they treated you. You went off on your own. Uh, you, you know, you've been through a battle. The Queen of Wands energy, that's somebody who's a warrior. And you're just like, I've had enough. I'm not wasting my time. I'm not allowing you to play any games with me. I'm going after what I want. I, I feel like that's what you did. And you've healed and you're healing others, and you've actually poured a lot of healing energy into the world here. People can see it. You're in the public eye, maybe, as the star. You're shining brilliantly, shining bright here, living a peaceful life, being happy, going after your dreams. And this person wants to come back at, this is somebody who likes to manipulate. It could be a baby's daddy, a boss. Someone who's large and in charge, maybe, or thinks so. It could just be a narcissist because it feels like it feels like they manipulate the situation. They try to get to cause fighting and chaos and strife. And you know when they come in with this cup and apologize to you, that's a fish in that cup, right? You know that. You know that's a fish in that cup. Um, so they don't really have a whole lot to offer you besides narcissism. That's great. But this, I, I don't know. I, I feel like you shared passion with this person maybe in the past. And they just, they brought along a bunch of chaos and strife and manipulation. I don't know. Take it however it resonates with you, but I feel like this person's coming back in to apologize. Okay. Um, but this thing, I feel like it's come to an end. You're like, I deserve better with justice here. I'm, I'm making a call and I'm ending it. That I feel like that was your decision. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. It could be a court case even. Something. I don't I don't see it like that. I just see it as you making like the call here. Now they're standing here thinking of you. Now they're like, well, I, I really treated cancer poorly. I kept some things hidden. I had other options. I treated them like an option. You know, I may have had addictions. I may have like been a little narcissistic and manipulated. But boy, does cancer look awesome out here. Like, they, they want you. This person, I feel like they may have someone else around them. Or like I said, they're attached to something here. It could even be an addiction. I don't know why I keep bringing it up. So it's that's got to resonate with someone out there. But with you, they know they hold the world in the palm of their hands. But the thing is, is you're not going to put up with the crap that they gave you before. You're just not. I feel like you're ending that cycle, okay? You're making the call on that one. Uh, and you're moving forward into a new cycle that's absolutely brilliant and stunning in the public eye. Ever, oh, there's a lot of people watching you here, Cancer. And you're shining brilliantly. You're beautiful, pouring that healing energy into the world. Look how soft you are. You're really soft. Your skin looks great. Look at how pretty you are. You're having a glow up. You're balanced, you're strong, you're poised, you're confident, you're courageous, you're intuitive. The universe sees all the effort you put into yourself and you're shining brilliantly out here doing something that you're probably called to do, okay? Um, so this person knows. They know you're going places. They know that you're leveling up and it's easy to see because you're in the public eye glowing but I feel like they're hooked to something here, either someone else in a toxic situation or, it, like I said, it could be an addiction or something like that. Um, that's why, you know, when they come in to apologize after all this narcissism, game playing, chaotic mess, all the lies and deception and manipulation you know you're gonna see this i feel as just a cup or i mean just a fish in that cup you know and you know you're gonna be worth 
so much more than that. This person's coming to you as a page, even though they're trying to act like an emperor. They're trying to make themselves feel better here, I feel. Okay? And take control of the situation. This is ego. Um, but here's the thing. You know that this wheel of fortune has turned in your favor. Not only are you a star, not only are you done with this last cycle crap, and ready to walk into a new cycle, but it's going to bring you... The, you are going to be so financially abundant. You've got the wheel of fortune, fortune, turning in your favor. You're, you're turning the page. You're, you're going to write a whole new story for yourself. This is the most financially stable queen in the deck. And you are more than worthy of a commitment, a decent one. All right, something that's going to be solid, something that's going to grow. You know, you're a sweetheart, Cancer. You're a sweetheart and you're loving. But who was it today that I heard say that? Was it Gina? I don't remember who it was. It was either Gina or Frankie. Um... Cancer Baby Tarot or Frankie's Tarot that says, you know, you're very loving and nurturing and kind, but you're no fool. You're no fool, okay? Yeah. I mean, you know, you can handle pretty much everything on your own. You're out here shining brilliantly, having a glow up, going after what you want. You're not playing any games. You're no fool. And you're about to start a whole new beginning. And this person, they feel very left behind, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. Whoever this is feels very left behind. Well, that's because you left them behind. It's true. You're, you are leaving this person behind. You know why? Because they treated you like crud. That's why. And now you've there's this person out here that's all like, oh, hum. I'm, I missed out on cancer. Well, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yep. They would have held the, the world in the palm of their hands had they treated you halfway decent. But they didn't. You move forward, and now you're becoming abundant. What? Right? Earth angel energy here. Being divinely led. I, I say it a lot for you guys, Cancer. You know that. I love you guys. But yeah, it's true. Now this person is, I feel like they, they're fairly narcissistic or something. I don't know. They're, they wanted to control the situation, thought they could manipulate you, which I feel like they did. I feel like they did, but they're not getting away with it, Cancer. I think you move forward here. Um... with faith knowing that what's supposed to happen is going to happen and this person is really feeling it um yeah and i feel like you are getting your justice because you're leveling up in life here okay you're leveling up i feel like you got your justice the second you ended it here and i feel like this is your energy having a victory yeah, being divinely led. Look, Empress, oh my gosh, Empress energy, big time. And I feel like new suitors are going to come forward here and your person's going to feel all kinds of defensive or whoever this is from your past is going to feel all kinds of defensive. They're going to want to keep any new suitors away from you, but new love is coming in. This person, whoever this is, knows you are the blessing and love here. And now you're an empress. So they played games, arrogant, controlling, egotistical games with somebody who turned out to be an empress. You could even be the, the mother of this person's children. But I, I'm just seeing this, all of this energy is you, Cancer. And you're highly favored by the divine. 
as well. I'm seeing this as a new person coming forward because you are more than worthy of a, of a commitment that's going to be real and true and strong. Yeah, because you're a blessing. Here comes someone new. Now, Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, this is somebody I feel who um, they may they may seem guarded, um, but and this is moving slow. This is going to be someone new that you're you're going to want to move slow with. Okay, because you have a lot going on for yourself right now. So you're going to want to take it slow, I feel, with all the suitors because you don't want to lose any kind of grip on whatever it is that you're building for yourself financially because right now your stability means a lot to you. Okay, so I feel like whoever comes forward, you're going to take its business that's that's kind of what you're focused on right now. I don't see that you're focused on a whole lot of like love, lovey, love, 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 right? You're going after that stability and you're shining your star. And you've really worked hard for this. All right, what else can you show me here? For cancer, what messages do you have for cancer? What action is this person? Okay. Yeah. I feel like they walked away from you here and they want to get back together. I, I feel like this is I feel like this is you two out here um, celebrating your life. Your life is like a celebration right now. This person walked away from you. That's all they can really think about is, woe is me. Why did I walk away from cancer? Why did I walk away? Why did I? What have I done? What have I done? That's what this is. What have I done? Right. They walked away from you, and you're out here being a star, an empress, abundant, a business owner maybe, um, in the public eye, extremely financially abundant, gorgeous, divinely led, um, smart, intuitive, beautiful. Yeah, they're really kicking themselves right here, Cancer. This person's up all night. This is can't eat, can't sleep, pacing the floor at 3 a.m. Having nightmares if they are sleeping, waking up tearful, crying knowing exactly who and what they missed out on. This is a what have I done kind of moment for your person. Um, honestly, I get the feeling like they don't really know what to do right now. I don't think this person's going to be approaching you anytime soon, really. Um, I mean, their ego is hurt. They're hurt. Just because they know all that they missed out on by walking away or treating you like an option, keeping you covered up because they didn't want to look at it. You know, what this is what, you know, we sit there and we say, what is wrong with people? Well, a lot. Some, some of them, they do bad things. They can be good people, but do bad things. But, you know... You kind of have to ask yourself, yeah, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Now they want to get you in this boat, but after all this time of procrastinating and not talking to you, how are they going to get you in this boat? man? And they would be planting you around all of these burdens. It's almost like they, you know, they, they just want to hang on to you and keep you stuck here with them. And that, that they... It, they waited too long to communicate. They've been in denial. They walked away from you. This person doesn't know how to fix this. They just don't know how to make it right. They don't know. What can they say? What can they do? You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. And you're, you know, look, you're moving forward so quickly and you're so um, financially stable and 
dedicated to whatever it is you're doing, I feel like this person's like, what could I possibly offer them, right? Well, I, I feel like someone new is coming in to make you an offer. It's going to grow and take some time. But if you notice, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. You're only missing that love, okay? You're only missing the right offer from the right person the right way. And it's coming, but it's coming from someone new. I feel like this is someone new. Okay, and this person knows that too. Yeah, they sabotaged themselves when they sabotaged you. Now they don't know what to do. High Priestess energy, because you're not talking to them and you're moving forward. You're moving on brilliantly, like you're stunning, okay? Yeah, and they're like, oh my gosh, the loss is absolutely staggering. Yeah, I'm not kidding. They sabotaged themselves, man. They did. Anyway, Cancer Singles, that's what I've got for you. Um, look forward to this new person coming in. It's going to be something that's going to move slowly, but I, I feel like it's the offer. Um, it's the kind of offer that you really needed, right, to create that um, commitment here, the Ten of Pentacles. Anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow and become a new Mooney, right? And until next time, Cancers, take care of you. And peace out.